Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rosa Oliai, obstetrician and gynecologist. I thought today I'd talk about a very important uh, issue within women's life, that is breast and breast-related diseases, disorders. Breast cancer is on the rise and if you see that, uh, you know, 27% of the cancers in women is of the breast cancer. Initially, it was the uterine cervical cancer, that's mouth of the uterus, but however, breast is taken over. Now, there is nothing to worry about, uh, nothing to panic about because prevention is better than cure. So let us just see what are the factors that lead to cancer. So there are certain modifiable issues, problems, and there are certain things which are not modifiable. That means those definitely female would be one aspect. Age would be another aspect, that is 40 years and above. If you have a family history of your mother, your sister, your grandmother being having a breast cancer, you may have chances of developing. Or there are certain genes which could be BRCA1, BRCA2, could change pattern and you know later on lead into breast cancer. Now, what are the modifiable you know, factors? Obesity. That means if you are on the higher side, your BMI is more than 30, you could take you know, care of that and decrease your weight. Smoking, drinking alcohol, sedentary lifestyle. These are some of the issues that you could help with you know, to decrease the, you know, the factor which leads to breast cancer. Early menarche, that means when you start your menses, like young girls starting it too early in life, Late menopause, when you stop your menses a little later on, beyond 50 years, that could also could be leading to, you know, cancer of the breast. So uh, what are the ways that we could help? You know, there are very simple methods of breast self-examination, wherein we try to palpate, wherein try, we ourselves can, you know, uh, you know, see if there is any growth on the breast, which you could do while having bath, especially Every month, maybe, you could just try to scroll your hand on the breast and see if there is any abnormality. The moment you feel there is something wrong in your breast, there's something pain or kind of, you know, nodules or any growth, you should go to your gynecologist and get yourself checked. So what we see, uh, we see if there is any discharge from the nipples, we see if there is any lump, if there is any redness around the area. And mind you, in the earlier stage, one cancer it just below two centimeters growth, which could be either operated or depends on the situation, could be taken care of. So there's nothing to panic as long as you're on time and you go to the doctor and take care of yourself. Now, mammography could be one, you know, uh, question that usually, you know, ladies ask. We would like to recommend it annually every year after the age of 45 onwards. Unless and until you have certain growth, which your doctor would say, then you need to get an ultrasonography. We call it a sonomammography of the breast. That could be done. Sometimes the growth may also need an FNAC. That means you put a needle inside, take out certain fluid from it, give it for examination, which is very normal actually, and there's nothing to panic about. The only thing you have to be careful with is, as I mentioned earlier, your weight, your you know, the uh, lifestyle that you follow and always like wearing proper bra for your, you know, size. Because most often I've seen the cup that, you know, the patients wear, the girls who come to me, the cup size is different. So you need to be measuring what you're wearing because that also could be one factor. So I would like to wish you all the best, take care of your health and make sure that you're always updated with the latest. Do visit your doctor annually for all the checkup. Thank you.